Across the U.S., doctors on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19 are overwhelmed. New York has so far been hardest hit. Hell, biblical. I kid you not. People come in, they get intubated, they die, the cycle repeats. In Texas, the lack of testing means many patients are already very ill by the time they make it to the hospital. They come in after they are uh, very short of breath, they need the ventilator, and that's when it's hard to treat them. In New Orleans, the situation gets worse each day. It's sort of like watching a, a, a train uh, have a crash in slow motion. You know it's going to happen, but there's not much you can do about it. Hospitals not yet overwhelmed, like this one outside Washington, D.C., are canceling elective procedures and barring all visitors as they brace for the worst. Many hospitals are running short on personal protective equipment, like masks and gloves. In New Jersey, one doctor has been personally tracking down PPP wherever he can. We had to do what we could. We got creative, though, too, as you know, we went to the automotive supply places and we went to paint supply places. Often paying well above list price in no questions asked anonymous deals. I would be able to get an N95 single unit mask for under $2 and I'm paying as high as 20. The lack of personal protective equipment is adding to the concerns of doctors and their families. My fear is that I'm going to fall into this group of people who doesn't know that they are sick already and may bring it home to my three-week-old. There's a lot of things in medicine that are probably very scary, and this is as scary as any of them. As the sun goes down, doctors prepare for another tragic night. I've never felt so deeply sad and distraught. I think about all of my patients. I don't care about their age, their race. I don't care about uh, how they sort of got there, but I feel incredibly sad because so many patients die without having someone by their side. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.